clients are demanding a lot from their buildings. So they want buildings which are part of a low carbon infrastructure. They've got to be delivering health, well-being, productivity, efficiency, value, and they've got to be viable as developments and investments. And integrated design is really about bringing together all the different skill sets to make that possible. Having a single team working on the project, all the designers uh, within a single company, allows a single source of responsibility for the client. So there's an improved communication uh, benefit to that. And um, eventually, the, the delivery of the project, there's less commercial risk. We have a contribution to the aesthetics of the building, we have a contribution to the performance of the building and to the buildability of what we're designing. We know each other, we have good relationships, we have an understanding of what everyone else does and we challenge each other. And it's this kind of creative abrasion that ensures that we always get you know, the best solution possible. You get a very collaborative approach to design, you get all these world leading specialists coming together into one team. And that means that you can make those early trade-offs, you can work very closely with the client and together to try and resolve all of those, um, all those considerations. And we also work with a shared set of skills and tools and workflow, which allows us to rapidly analyse options and come up with the best solution for the client. Think of it as if it was an orchestra. You, know, you have the individual instruments, but if they all play their own tune, it doesn't become music.